Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make stuffed bell peppers and I make the best, I said the best stuffed bell peppers in the whole wide world. Don't nobody make stuffed bell peppers like Philly Boy J. Nobody. Don't nobody do it quite like him. Listen, you're just not going to find a stuffed bell pepper recipe as good as this one. Here's what you're going to do first. You're going to get a large size onion and we're going to be using half for our filling. We're going to be cooking that along with our meat and we're going to use half for our stuffed bell pepper bed. Okay? And you're going to chop each half differently. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use this half for our filling and the half that we're using for the filling, we're going to dice up into really small pieces. Like that there. And this half, you're going to slice into long size pieces. Like that there. So let's move on to the next step. We're going to focus on one part of our filling, and that's the sauce. Let me show you guys what you need to do with that. Okay, so you're going to get a mixing bowl, and to the mixing bowl, you're going to add your sliced stewed tomatoes. And for all the exact measurements and for the full recipe, make sure you visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. All the additional information that you need to know about this recipe that I may not mention in the video can be found there. And this particular recipe will be found in the appetizer section. All right. Now we're going to add some tomato paste. Okay, so what we're going to add is some brown sugar. All right. We're going to add some whole oregano. And last but not least, to give the stuffed bell peppers an extra kick, we're going to add crushed red pepper. We're not going to add too much of that. Okay. And now we're going to stir this all in really well. So you're going to get a skillet and you're going to place it over high heat. All right. We're going to add our ground beef meat. And we're going to be adding the sweet Italian sausage meat. You got to squeeze that on out like that. Okay. So just squeeze it out. Squeeze it all out of that fat. Ooh, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it out. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to add the onions that we diced up earlier. And you're going to break this up. And we're just going to let it cook until it's done. We are going to be adding some seasonings to this in a few seconds. Make sure you break it all up first. Okay, so we're going to add our seasonings now. We're going to add our minced garlic. Okay. Some of that garlic juice. 
And even though we added minced garlic, I still like to add a little bit of garlic powder. So we're gonna add some garlic powder to this. We're gonna use some black pepper. And for taste, we're going to add some celery salt. You can use seasoning salt or regular salt, but please try to find celery salt for this recipe. It really makes a difference. We're gonna start all the seasonings in. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you're going to fill a pot up with water and you're gonna place it over high heat. Once the water comes to a boil you, we're going to add our success boil you in the bag, white enriched pre-cooked rice. Okay, we're gonna cook that until it's done. This is the box that it comes in by the way. Okay, 10 minutes success. Boil you in the bag, white rich pre-cooked rice that's the kind of rice I'm gonna be using okay guys so we're going to create our filling now so we're going to get a big mixing bowl into the mixing bowl we're going to add our cooked meat we're going to add our Worcestershire sauce I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that Okay. That gives it a great flavor. We're going to add some ketchup. Okay. We're going to add one third of the sauce from earlier. Only about one third of that. Here we have some natural shredded Parmesan cheese. You're gonna add two thirds of that. We're gonna be saving a little bit of that to garnish the top of the bell peppers. But you wanna add most of it to the filling. And last but not least, we're going to add our rice. We're going to stir this in until it's well blended. And that's a lot of filling there, so we're gonna fill these bad boys up totally. Okay. Let's go and focus on our bell peppers now. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill a big pot up with water. Make sure it's a big pot because you want to make sure that the whole green pepper is submerged in water. You're gonna place the big pot of water over high heat. And once the water comes to a boil you, we're going to add our bell peppers to the boiling water. And we're going to boil you them for a couple minutes. Okay? And what that's called is pre-boiling or blanching. You just want to pre-cook them before stuffing them with the filling that we just made and baking them. Just to soften them up a bit. Alright? Because... As you know, green peppers are kind of solid, all right? So you just want to boil you them for a couple minutes to soften them up to shorten the baking time, all right? So we're going to allow this water to preheat, let it come to a boil you. Meanwhile, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut open the green peppers and how to prepare 
the bed in the baking pan for the green peppers. All right. So here's our green bell peppers. What you're gonna do is you're just going to cut off the head of the pepper, the top. Okay. Now I personally just discard this whole part and throw it away. Some people keep it and top their stuffed bell peppers with it, but I'm not gonna be doing that. Okay. So that's the way it should look now. And then you're going to remove this part here. Okay. Take that part out, discard that as well. And that's the way you want your peppers to look. And you're just gonna rinse out the seeds. We're gonna create our bed for our stuffed bell peppers. You're gonna get a baking pan. I'm using a aluminum foil you one today. And to the baking pan first, we're going to add some beef broth. So we still have two thirds of the sauce left. Um, we're not going to add much of that at all. Okay, we're only going to add a small amount of the sauce because we have to save most of this remaining sauce to top our stuffed bell peppers. Okay, so you're only gonna add about that much there, not a lot at all. We're going to add the onions for our bed that we chopped up earlier. The long onions. Okay guys, so we're going to blanch our bell peppers now and we're going to do two at a time. This is the way they look now. They definitely change in color after blanching for a couple minutes. After they get done, you're going to sit them in the bed that we created make sure that fully submerged in the water like that okay so as you can see they've kind of darkened in color um, we're going to take them out and set them in the baking pan now and I like to use a fork and the way that you fully stuff them is by adding a little at a time and pressing down press it down pretty firmly Add more. Press it down. Because this is a lot of filling and we want to make sure that we use every bit of it. Okay, so just make sure you press and add a little at a time first. Okay, and I like for the filling to come a little over. The peppers so as you can see here though I stuffed them completely all the way up to the top okay that's the way you want them to look fully stuffed
going to top each one with a little parsley flakes. Then we're going to place these in the oven and bake them. I'll get back with you guys once they are all done. I'll show you how they look. Okay, guys, and look at those stuffed bell peppers from Philly Boy J. Guys, you are going to love these stuffed bell peppers because they're the best. I said the best stuffed bell peppers and the best stuffed bell pepper recipe in the whole wide world. Nobody make stuffed bell peppers like Philly Boy J. Nobody. Don't nobody do it quite like him. I said, I will pay you to find. I'll pay, pay, pay you to find somebody that makes stuffed bell peppers like Philly Boy J. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Look at those stuffed bell peppers. They are absolutely delicious. I want you guys to try this recipe out. You are going to love them. They are amazing. Let's plate them and split them open. But yes, guys, these are our stuffed bell peppers okay guys so let's get our stuffed bell pepper look at that ah. cut this bad boy in half mm, 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 mm. look at that ah look at that